every season of anime, there are some specific ones where I feel like I should not be watching. But the YouTube algorithm and the analytics and the numbers, it just does so fucking well. Gushing for Massacre Girls was an anime like that last season. And um, fortunately or unfortunately, it is the seventh Shota this season. And my goodness, last episode might have been the sussiest one so far. Why did that Baldi's power have to be sticky white fluids? Bro was fighting without his pants the entire time. Just grandfather clock, ding dong, just swinging around, but no one could see it because the closer is just hiding it. And at the very end, what does our brother Albert and Silva think? They brought out the clothes. It was all sticky and goo. <laughs> they're just like gonna wage a war against us. Anyways, the Assassin's Guild, they're not bad people. They're good people. They're just kind of misunderstood because they are blights. The people that were born with like blighted mana, it's hard to control. Therefore, they were doing these quests that no one really wanted to do while leaving like a token of our Assassin's Guild to kind of spread the positive image of what we are. But it was never really that good because it looked like they had fucking bounty posts. Lloyd fixed them up, but unfortunately, Jade is not fixed. Jade ports in and back whenever you want. And the trailer also puts a lot of emphasis on Jade versus Lloyd, so my expectations are pretty high in the combat between the two. Last episode, Lloyd just taking everyone out so quickly. It's expected, but I hope Jade is like a different beast. Let's begin today's reaction. Jade. <laughs> Dude, Lloyd did not give a fuck about their backstory, man. <laughs> Rulers of Lordos. That's the place where our nation might have waged. That was the nation, right? That was talking about last episode. Jade already took them down. And now he's the Lord there. So Silpha and Albert's going, and then they're going to fight Jade. And then this is how the conflict happens. Gotcha. <laughs> You know as soon as we get there, he's gonna fucking port out, right? I just realized Grimm also has, you know, the same outfit. Hmm? Yeah? Why? Right? He's just super interested in the teleport magic and wants to learn, therefore he's going to jump. He's not implying there's someone else here. Is there? Really? No. Really? He would show up and disappear immediately on purpose? Maybe he's being forced to do it. I don't know. Oh, man. I don't think this is kindness at all. I don't think he gives a fuck about any of you. He's just here to learn for teleport magic, but it just seems like he's being a benevolent leader now. What is that implication of the letter just showing up specifically here? It must mean that Jade can control his powers. Or there's a different being that has teleportation magic that can use it and is forcing Jade to do... I don't know. There's something else going on here. Why would Jade lie about it? Intentionally lie to his own friends. Were they ever friends? I don't know. <laughs> Was, 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 was that when Lloyd removed her tears and then bumped her in the forehead? Was that, was, was that when he rinsed her up? Is that what's going on here? Is that what's going on here? Now, a lolly in the show that I, I feel like they're in the same age range to actually make sense. So, I'm sorry, Aru. Aru has Albert. <laughs> Your flying is like... 
<laughs> Yo, the guy, the flexible dude at the very back. Look how he's fucking folded. Hard on most people, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Why is she so fucking cheeked up? Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, oh, I she got a fucked up backstory. She accidentally killed her parents, so she had to survive by herself. And that's why she cares about Jade so much. Oh. Isn't the, the flowers the poison? Yes, it was. Okay. Oh, this group is too goddamn wholesome. So this is who did it. Crow and I can design her clothes. So these are the ones that put her in that outfit. Which one actually came up with the designs though? Which one actually said just put her in just like a fucking <laughs> just like a string? Which one did that? More backstory to kind of explain how close Ren is with the assassin skill and how important Jade is. <laughs> Looks great! <laughs> who came up with the one in the beneath it though? Who the, the code is nice. Why does who who put her in that? Okay. Oh, it's a part of the family! Oh, even the pin is from Jade. Oh, they took this wild raccoon girl from the fucking forest. Oh, the ribbon versus the pin was a little scene where the Onesan and the bird mouth, you know, bird mask guy was like arguing like which one is good on which, right? So she put on the pin. I can't believe the Assassin's Guild just turned out to be like the most lovable family, man. Only for teleportation. Only for teleportation. Uh, that looks worse than Shion's cooking from Tensura. Is it actually good? I don't know. Crow, you gonna be okay? He's saloming it down. Get it? Because his last name's Salome. Grim loves it too. Right, I totally forgot about his past life. That means that we grew up in a worse position than a slum in the past life. <laughs> How wholesome. This, this, this arc better end with them all eating the poison sludge, bro. Aww. Rim loves the shit. <laughs> right, they do have bounties. <laughs> but with the recent events, like, is the bounties... <laughs> Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 so he actually is royalty, so him taking over, so he teleported to Lordos, not by accident, intentionally, took over as the Lord, took out, every, is, he basically did a little bit of a succession quest by himself? <laughs> Lordost is ruled over by my family, who are a downright diabolical. They're evil as fuck. Lordost is terrible people. You got it? That's what the point of the Assassin's Guild was. No, he genuinely is upset, but I don't think they really give a fuck, right? <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Because, <laughs> like, I guess the reaction he was expecting is. What? How could you do this to us? This is all a lie? But they're like, oh, really? You look like a rich boy. Okay. I think they want to help. Oh, okay. Everyone else knew? But Ren is too young to know. 
<laughs> these, okay, one thing this show does really fucking well is like these chibi faces or the exaggerated facial reactions. <laughs> It doesn't matter because we're family. This is way too goddamn wholesome. But it looks like Jade already did that by himself, huh? Yeah. I mean, he already accomplished it. Man, Ren is fucking going through it. Oh, the everybody! Everybody's crying! No! This is way too goddamn wholesome. Don't say that! Maybe that is the outcome of this arc. Are we gonna have a happy ending? <laughs> I think that's how everyone feels right now, right? The way that Grim is saying he's like the audience. I was like, that's way too fucking sweet and wholesome, man. These group, they were never bad. They're just such misunderstood group of outlaws that just want to, you know, fit into society. But that they have all these different things that need to go through. And they, they can't even fucking help because Jade has to do it himself. But now, Jade seemingly already has done it. Because if he sent the letter, it means that he's accomplished it. Right? So what is the problem here? And he's being forced to send that letter to bring in these people here? まったく。とんでもねえ魔術だなんだできるくせに。ねえぞ。ジョージクソ型結界展開してるしな。そう。それは可愛くねえな。みんな。ロイドには少し休んでもらって、僕たちだけで了して。The manner. We're like right there. That's what I'm thinking too, right? Because like, there's got to be something wrong going on. Did he actually take over? Or is he being held hostage right now? And other people are making us send that shit to lure in the assassin skill? But then, what, what, how does that help them? <laughs> Lloyd being asleep right now though, these guys have to do everything by themselves and Lloyd is just... He's benched. First half is all just set up and explaining what's going on. Bald! Baldy! What the fuck? Okay, it's a it's fun guy. I was like, oh, it's not, it's a potato thing. It's not a ball. It's a Humpty Dumpty egg thing. And why is the credits rolling right now? Are we getting set up? I don't feel good about this. Y'all been saying today's episode is fucking insane. Today's episode is fucking cracked, right? And like so far, this episode has been all just kind of like seemingly set up. Just talking about the motivations of each character in the Assassin's Guild, how they relate to Jade, how, what's even going on with Jade, and how we want to live all together. And yeah, okay, we're 14 minutes in out of this 23.50 minutes, you know, episode. So, and the credits are rolling, and they're happily introducing us to people. Something crazy is gonna happen, right? Like, something insane is about to happen, right? Why is the credits rolling, bro? <laughs> Oh, Ren is so adorable today, man. I don't want to let her down. Yeah, where is Jade? <laughs> Guys, what, everything's gonna be fine. Jade is okay too. It's such a happy time. Remember? Jade wanted to, you know, have this place. Be somewhere where the blind can live forever. And, you know, everyone can be happy, happy. And that's today's episode. Thanks for tuning in. If you're still here. If you didn't enjoy this reaction, wait, hold up, come on, come on, come on, something else gotta happen, right? Something else gotta happen, right? Wait! Wait for it! New drip. Yeah, he always could. 
Uh, we guess we were worried for nothing. Yeah, I guess we were really worried for nothing, guys. Wow. Everything's gonna be fine. The credits are rolling. Dude, it's such a happy episode. Aww. <laughs> oh, Yokata. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Red is so happy. What's going on? He's using crow speeds, right? Wait, wait. Did he just steal everyone's powers? Hold what what the fuck happened? What what the fuck happened? <laughs> the Lord of the War bloodthirsty evil people. And Jade is no different? That was his entire plan? He's selling the bodies off? <laughs> to eat? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> it's Ren! You picked her up from the forest! This is fucked. This is fucked. <laughs> Lloyd! No, no, it's grim, it's grim. <laughs> Jade is what? Jade is what? <laughs> My grim! <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Well, this makes it a lot easier to understand why in the trailer Jade and Lloyd were fighting with such intensity. I thought that maybe they were doing kind of practice sparring and it was all just for fun and for him to learn about teleportation magic, but like what the fuck is happening, bro? An interesting thing that he said here is a mere demon interferes. As in, is he not a human? Is a human that looks down on demons? Also, notice how the people around here they all have such interesting designs, right? Like, what's with their faces? Are, are we monsters beyond demons? Because Grim is a pretty high-tier demon, if I'm not recollecting my memories correctly. But wasn't he pretty insane? He was, like, locked up in a fucking basement, and, and there was this whole crazy shit we did in episode one. And he, and he thinks that's just a mere demon. What are the... What's going the fuck on here? What, what the fuck are these people, dude? <laughs> Lloyd, get up, bro. Lloyd, get <laughs> Grim's about to I think, show up. I think I think Grim's about to land over here, but what the fuck? What are you, a Disney fucking princess? Bro starts napping, all cute animal just fucking flock around him? Okay, something's about to land. Grim? Grim? Boom! The sussy jacket. What's going on, Grim? What is he after? Finish your sentence! I'm gonna assume... Because he already had the cursed speech, right? He already had the cursed... He already took their powers? Because, like, the only reason to bring them here, I would imagine, is to, like, harvest their powers. But then they also said, do whatever you want with the bodies, too. Did, when did he already take the powers? He could always use the powers? The crow speech guy anyways. The fuck? EVIL! Look at that Humpty Dumpty motherfucker dude! Look at the end! They're monsters beyond demons? Psych life forms. Demon from the netherworld. Beyond? the ocean beyond the continent there's a different place called the netherworld it's not some underworld thing it's an actual demon continent like in mushoku tensei okay okay wait 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 redemption is possible this is not jade he wanted body of jade but some demons possess Jade, so we can still have a happy ending. Because I thought that Jade was just a piece of shit from Lordos the entire time. But it's looking like he got possessed by a demon. Even though he called Grimm a mere demon. I guess he's a more high quality demon. Lloyd can do his shit, save everybody. We can fucking put Jade as the king of Lordos after all that shit went down. And then everyone can live happily ever after. But right now, he's possessed. Cool. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. Gizarm. Months to wear down. 
しかし実に愉快な数ヶ月日々The entire first half of this episode was spent on just explaining how good Jade was and the family and the bonding and a h dude! Come on! <laughs> I would laugh when children get beat up usually, but this is too sad! That's the pin! That's the fucking pin that they gave us, bro! See, Jade cared all this time. <laughs> お前らの存在を俺に知られて実態は我々にはとても馴染むレアな器あオーケーオーケー They want the bodies most of all I thought they were trying to harvest some kind of powers and I'm not really sure how he's already using crow's speech attack but the blighted as it's more compatible as host 取られるジェイドはどうしたと思う奴は死を選んだ What? どこで俺はどうしたと思う不悦に止めなかったよ He didn't do anything? He was about to kill. He was about to kill. And then, he did nothing. Don't you try to be fucking funny right now! Stop it! No! t h a t fucking sound effect! 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 What I said about redemption, not even redemption, being bringing Lo like Jay back sounds even more impossible. But with Lloyd's magic, there's gotta be a way. I don't believe it. But he's making it sound like Jay's mentality, his soul, was so fucking damaged that it's just gone now. And there's no way of retrieving it, but I doubt it. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> You, you, it's a fucking rap. Police! Call 911! No, the hairpin! The hairpin! Maybe next time, oh, why is it? Maybe next time we can give her the ribbon that we didn't give the ribbon to. No, not the hairpin! Oh. This is so cruel. Lloyd, please. Oh, he's a warrior, you can't! Sanjak, we need a line. Nothing about this in Jade's memories. This is something different. Wait, wait, wait. wait. wait it's a trap. It's a trap. This is gonna help us. How? Spell for what? I don't know. Right, 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 right. These are the markings that Lloyd fixed. Right. Everyone got their own tattoo. Different, different marks when Lloyd basically slapped him last episode. Right, right, right. right. Did she just fucking bite her tongue? She had to force to speak and she bit herself? Stop letting the lolly cry over and over! The hairpin! This is so fuck- That's why they set up the half the fucking episode making me feel so fucking invested into Ren and crying and Oh, I feel so happy and so sad and we're a fan! It doesn't do this shit. Just to fucking. Just to, just stab you and just. Oh, just Lloyd, Lloyd. Lloyd! The hero should show up any moment, right? Holy shit, you took your time! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are we dead? Are we dead? Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. He put a barrier on us. gonna say did he just like i don't know maybe maybe he went to like a fucking like if on a scale of 10 of how dire he needed to show up i was like nine or eight but then he showed up and dropped us with like a 27 bro literally did an i am atomic like uh is this gonna be okay we got barriers on right we have barriers on no shot you know die whoever i think jade is you know alive still dead right now yo Deep voice 
with Lloyd? And oh, this fucking episode, man. Oh, you are right. You are right. Yeah, today's episode was fucking insane. Y'all are hyping the fuck out of this episode. And I honestly didn't really know how to feel about this episode because like halfway in, we're just fucking around. Not fucking around, but basically it, this isn't stuff that I would consider insane or hype because the first half of the episode was dedicated towards more assassin skill lore, how important they are to each other. Ren was pretty much picked out of the fucking wild and Ren, you know, and 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 Jade like trained her and, and, and they're all a happy family and the whole the bounty things and how they couldn't come help and how Jade had to do his own thing. It was such a heartwarming family, right? It's a heartwarming family backstory. And then for Jade to then say all these shitty things to Ren, obviously it wasn't Jade. I think there was a different demon name. I've forgotten the name. But across the ocean, the continent, there is this nether world. And in the nether world, there's demons like him. The fact that he even called Gizarm, <laughs> Guizarm, I don't know, how, however you say it. He called Grim a mere demon. What? What do you mean? I thought Grim was insane. Which means that Guizarm is even stronger than Grim. Is Grim also from the Netherworld? That's another good question to ask, right? We never really know. Because, like, we knew that demons existed, but, like, we don't really know much about them. They just kind of pop up and they're, like, bad guys to be. But, apparently, the fucking the, the demon from a different continent exists, right? And here's another thing. Demons can't die from magic. But we've kind of proven that wrong last episode, look, that like last last arc against that other dude. Remember when Selfo was doing all that sussy shit, right? We basically overloaded and tried to do a stress test to see how much magic could you actually handle. And then yeah, Pazuzu, and he pretty much got fucked up. I'm not completely sure if he's dead. Did he like evaporate into the wild, or did like Grim do something to him? But I'm not sure if the same thing is going to happen with this new demon. Because I'm going to assume that he's going to be strong enough to kind of handle more than just Pazuzu. Yeah, I think that Grim did eat him. So this is going to be a very interesting battle. Knowing the little things that we know about demons. And how they can't die with magic. And Lloyd showing up like this. This is going to be an insane fucking episode next week. The battle animation is going to be lit. Listen. The whole torturing scene here. This fucking sucks, right? It just sucks so much. The fact that they're just torturing everybody, just humiliating Ren from Jade's body with Jade's voice. Imagine the trauma, the mental collapse that Ren has to face. But all that had to do, you know, all, all that had to be done so that the hero can show up at the very fucking last second. And what does he say? That would be me. In such a deep voice. I've never seen it. I've never heard Lloyd ever say shit like that. Yo, this is getting so fucking peak in next episode. Mm. It's gonna be hype. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist here for more content. And until next time, take care.